Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to create a magic movie in iMovie and how it works. So let's go to iMovie here and then just go inside and here you can see I have all my projects. Um, here we're going to go to start new project and click on magic movie. So it is described as choose your media and let iMovie create a movie for you. So it's essentially a way to quickly make a video because iMovie does most of it for you. You just select the clips and then compiles it together for you but this is a really nice feature that they released with one of the newer updates and i think it helps a lot if you just want to quickly make a video so let's get started we're just going to click on magic movie here and then select our clips so these are the clips that i'm going to be using for my video um as you can see there's just a bunch of random b-roll clips um but obviously yours is going to be more of a telling of a story maybe it's a vlog that you did um so just select all the clips that you want in your video so I'm just going to select all of these, and once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to select Create Magic Movie. And then it's just going to start loading up your video. This may take a while depending on the length of your clips. So once you've imported all your clips and it's processed it, this is what it's going to look like. You have your timeline here at the top, which you can scrub through to see what your video looks like completed. You'll see there are a bunch of transitions in between clips that they added in. Um, and then just also like titles here at the beginning. Um, so you can go through and just review this. And if you're happy with it, you can just export your video. But you can also change it um, and edit it more to your liking. Um, but this is just a quick compilation that it puts together of your video. So what you can do to edit it more to your liking is first off, go here to edit the theme. Um, so right now, this is what the main title looks like, which is not something that I really particularly love. So you can change the theme by going up here. So here you can see these are all the themes they do have. Right now it's set on minimal, but you can choose any of these themes. Um, I really love the look of their themes, and um, I think they just have a bunch of varieties, which is really nice, um, and it's way better than iMovie was a few years ago um, you have way more customization options here um, but you can just go through and find the one that you like the most for your videos I'm gonna go with studio but you can go with with every one you want um, then you can also go ahead and choose the music that you want for your background um, the main color so this is gonna change based on the theme so here you can edit the color that you want but I'm just gonna stick with the default one you can also edit the font that they have. They have a few here that they um, give you as options. But again, I'm just going to stick with the default. But yeah, just go through this and customize it more to your liking and then click on done. So this is now what it looks like. Um, and then also I can go ahead and change it even more by going into a clip and clicking on this pencil icon and then selecting edit clip. So here you can see this is my timeline with all my clips in it um, that I can quickly come and edit. So I can even add more text. So the first thing I want to do is change this text. So go to titles here and then you see you have different types of titles. Um, so I'm just going to go with this title over footage and then change the text. So obviously the text is based on whatever video you're doing. I'm just going to type in Notion since that's what's kind of going on on my video here um, but yeah you can just go ahead and just edit that to your liking more you'll see i have a bunch of different editing options down here so i can go here to edit and adjust a few other things so that means i can split it or cut it um, based on these little icons here um, so that's just splitting it and then i can cut it here and then it will delete the first part or i can cut it here with this one and then it will delete the part after this little playhead then, like I mentioned, for your clips, you can also go ahead and add titles. This will have more options based on the theme that you've selected. Um, this theme is very minimal, so it doesn't have such a wide variety, but um, some of the themes are more um, differentiated from the others. Um, then you can also go ahead and adjust the volume of your clip and then also the soundtrack that you've selected. Then you can also go ahead and go to music and adjust the music there. And then you can add a voice over over your clips as well. Um, so if you want to do that, you also see you have the option here for cinematic. So this is if you have any cinematic videos in your video. If you don't know what cinematic videos is, it's a way of taking videos on your iPhone for the iPhone 13 that it came out with um, that allows you to have like a blurry background for your videos. Um, but it's all software based. So with cinematic, you can then edit how that turns out. So for instance, I have this clip here that is a cinematic video. And when I click on cinematic here to edit it, I can adjust the f-stop. So that's how blurry of a background it is. Um, so you'll see there, this is the most blurry. This is the least blurry. So I can adjust that. 
I can also turn cinematic offer on here. So this is all really nice and it just allows you to easily edit that to your liking. You'll also see the way the clips are cut. So you, it's not going to be the duration that um, your clips may be. It's going to add in the parts which has most motion or just parts that it detects that it could be um, what you're looking for. So for instance, this part here is one of the parts that has the most going on in my clips. Um, so that's why I cut it to this part. Um, so yeah, that's also something you can edit. Um, so you can just adjust the duration if you want a longer part for that clip or not um, so you can go ahead and edit that as well but um yeah it will smart detect basically what it imports and then you can just go ahead afterwards and adjust it more to what you want it to be you can also adjust the speed by clicking here on speed and then just speeding it up and then replace here allows you to replace this clip with something else in your photo library or that you've taken um, and then lastly you can delete a clip um, so that is basically what there is for Magic Movies. It's very plain and simple, um, and you can just go in and edit it more to your liking. Um, but usually it's pretty good at compiling videos, um, just depends on the type of video you're looking for. Um, and if it's not just a bunch of B-roll clips, it will be easier to edit. One thing that I do wish we had more control over is the transitions and deleting transitions or adding transitions because some parts have transitions where i would rather have it on other parts um so that is something that does kind of suck that that um it does but uh it's just because it's magic movie so you don't have that much control over what you're doing um because it is mo more for just quickly creating a video um and if you don't really care about that then magic movie is still a great option for you so once you're happy you can go back and then you can just do a quick overview again of all your clips you can add some more clips by clicking on add then you can choose just a video clip or you can select add clip with title and then it will be like this first clip that has a title over it um so you can do that or you can just manually go ahead and add a title to your clip afterwards you can also from here just delete clips as well by just dragging to the left and then we'll see that delete option um and yeah once you're happy with your video and you have all the clips that you want for your video you can just go ahead and click on the share option to export your video um to your photo library whatever you want to do um but yeah it's really as easy as that to make a magic movie it's like magic <laughs> so let me know what your guys' thoughts are on magic movie if it's something that you find yourself using a lot and if you do what kind of videos do you make that you find this feature is most useful for um, i think it will be like i said very helpful for vlogs or things like that or just a compilation of little like, bits of clips um that you can just quickly put together um, but yeah let me know in the comments below what you guys think and if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen click on the playlist to see all of my other iMovie related videos and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!